First of all, I just want to apologise because I know it's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, I just kind of had to slow this project down a bit with it being a personal project. I just get really busy sometimes. I've still been working on the project. I've been doing the Junker Shark this time, which is looking pretty good. But obviously I did this one like a few months back now. And obviously I've had the footage and everything, but... I just haven't had time to put the video together so there's no kind of like schedule for these anyway I just upload them when I can. I just thought I should say something because it's been a while and it's kind of like it seems like it's just forgotten about but um, it's not so I'm still doing it I still want to do 50 all together and then turn it into something to raise money um, for a charity one thing that I do like to do though is when I start a new one I share it on my Instagram stories so that people can pick which one I do next so if you want to do that you can follow me on Instagram and I also might start doing some of these on my Twitch so um, I'll also link that below if you want to follow me on there. Hopefully my audio should sound way better as well because one of my clients who turned into a real good friend sent me a new mic. So fingers crossed that should make any like commentary videos a bit better from now on as well. Hello. So hopefully this should sound a lot better like I said. But yeah, starting with this guy, obviously, as I've said before, all these good ideas always start in spoons. Obviously when you're designing a lot of different things, one of the first things that tends to come into your head is like elemental things so I've never really done many like snowy icy things and I thought it'd be really cool seeing as I like to have like a lot of blue in my work I just thought it might work really well and I, and I kind of wanted to play with the ice and like the translucency of it I've also been trying to concentrate on doing different types of sharks so I think this is a basking shark um, which actually lives in the arctic so it just fit really well when I was sketching it up as well the idea was to just have it completely encased in an iceberg but uh, my best friend said to me why don't you have like the tail poking out like it's decomposed so that's what I ended up doing I thought it was a really cool idea and that's what I went with although looking at it now uh, I can kind of see that the bottom of the illustration so like where the shark's underwater it looks like it's in the ice but once it gets above the water it's like it's not in the ice anymore I should have really added more white on top of uh, the fin and the end of the tail but yeah, I started this out the same as all my other illustrations, so like lines, flats, shading, lighting. But then I knew once I'd got past that, it'd be really fun to play around with a few ideas. There was going to be a lot of like layering to make it look like the shark was underwater, but also in ice. So one compliment I always get, and I never know why, is that I've got a really good use of colour. I don't, I don't know where it comes from, but, but I tried in this illustration to not go overboard with that and just stick to the blues more than anything. I think at the end I added a bit of purple, but, but more or less it kind of stayed in the same colour range. So overall it was kind of like a pretty simple illustration, but where I got to have fun was at the end with all the effects, like I said, to make it look like the shark was in the ice and underwater, but then I also had to like do the top of the water and the top of the iceberg and every part of it had to look different and have different effects on it. As you notice as well, I like to do really strong highlights. I think it helps to make everything stand out. Sometimes it doesn't work, but on something like this, um, it really did. Because if you look at icebergs and like the sea in the Arctic and stuff, it's always really blue. And obviously it's really well lit because the sun reflects so much off the icebergs with them being white. It was kind of fun to use a light and to play around with the 3D-ness of the iceberg as well. I think that really helps it stand out. I tried not to do them as harsh as the other highlights. The bit at the bottom is just some ice brushes. I, th I think I just typed in on Google like ice brushes or ice shatter brushes, something like that. Um, they're free. I mean, you might not be able to use them that often, but I've definitely used them in other projects and they're perfect for this project. They make it look like it's like some kind of crystal or something at the bottom. I think it works really well. Also, obviously I try and get a lot of depth into my work. It's something I didn't used to be very good at. So it's one thing that I tried to concentrate on a lot more. My work used to look really flat. So that's why I started to like add the mountains into the back. And then you'll notice at the end as well, I add a border, like a black border, which is something I do quite a lot to create like the perception that there's a foreground really close to you. But I think it worked really well overall. Like I said, it's really simple, but it was a nice challenge. It was something different. I didn't want to push myself too much, but I think I pushed myself just enough. If you want to keep up to date with this project, uh, just follow me on Instagram because I've hashtagged it as well, 50 Sharks Project. So if you just type that in on Instagram or follow me on Instagram, you can see them all together. So if you do that, you can see some sneak peeks of the Junker Shark I've been working on, which, which is the one I'll be doing next, although I can't promise when it's going to be finished, but hopefully in the next like two to three weeks. <laughs>